Hello, uh, William here and welcome back to my workshop. Now, I did produce a short sort of coming out of Covid type video uh, a couple of weeks ago, um, but this is my first wood turning a video, I think, for close to eight months. Now, at my age, kind of eight months is, a, is quite a long time and of course you do tend to forget things. Uh, so I've been regularly revisiting some of Mike Walt's uh, original how-to and beginner's videos and also some of his later ones, which has helped kind of refresh my memory. Now, uh, because of uh, other commitments, work, uh, new company, I don't think it's likely that I will uh, get back to the situation where I'm going to be producing a new video every week, but I'll certainly endeavour to get one out every uh, two to three weeks uh, as a minimum. Now, uh, first project is going to be a very simple uh, bowl from English oak. Um, this bit of oak I've had for um, several years, to be honest, I can't remember where I, where I got it from. Uh, it's a foot by four inches, which is going to produce a nice kind of traditional um, fruit bowl for, I would think, a large dining table. Now, there are a couple of sections of uh, sap wood there, uh, so I can make that the base and basically turn that away. Okay then, so the first task is to find the centre of this piece and get it mounted on a 150mm uh, faceplate. So, just going to start off by finding the centre using my trusty uh, centre finder as copied from John Clothier. Mm -hmm. Now that's securely on the face plate, I can then get it mounted on the lathe. This is in fact not as round as it looks. Now I'm going to uh, bring up the tailstock to ensure some extra stability in the early stages, just to make sure that it in fact stays on the lathe. Now, I anticipate this piece of oak is going to be quite dusty today. Um, in fact, my workshop's quite dusty anyway because I've been cleaning it. So I am going to don my 3M respirator system. Now, I have just noticed there's this, uh, some kind of inclusion or feature here. There's a very punky piece of wood here, so I'm gonna to need to do something about that. So I'm gonna start off by chucking in some very thin CA glue, just to firm it up before I look at filling the voids. It's very soft. Okay, I'm going to leave that to cure off now for about 10 or 15 minutes and then uh, I'll come back to it. Okay, now I'm going to fill this with a bit of sawdust, rubbing it as much in as I can. I'm going to apply some more CA glue. Okay, now I've given this about 15 minutes to cure, so I'm just going to carry on now profiling the outside of the bowl.
Okay, that's the outside of the bowl uh, almost almost done. I've just got to now tidy it up a little bit and then go into my least favourite part of wood turning, which is sanding. Okay, now before I move on to uh, sanding sealer and Yorkshire grit, I'm just going to take some uh, denatured alcohol or methylated spirits as we call it here in the UK uh, and clean out the pores of the wood. Now, as far as sanding sealer goes, everyone has their own method. My preference is, of course, the Hampshire Sheen pre-thin sanding sealer uh, and I tend to put on several coats denibbing it between each coat. Now many people uh, use it differently, uh, several people I know just use one or two coats, uh, denib it and then go on to a full strength sanding sealer but for me uh, multiple coats denibbing between each coat seems to work best. Now for denibbing, I normally use the 3M abrasive pads, uh, of which I've got a set. However, after eight months, I can't quite lay my hands on them at the moment, so I'm back to using 0000, zero, zero, zero grade wire wool. Okay, I'm keeping the lathe speed low while I'm denibbing. Certainly under 400 RPM, don't want anything getting too hot. Dust it off. Okay, no time to think about the final finish. Uh, this is a nice piece of wood with some interesting features. Uh, and of course, I'm gonna finish it off with Hampshire Sheen High Gloss. Now the way I prefer to use um, Hampshire Sheen High Gloss is to Use it fairly sparingly, do a couple of coats, but the first coat I always like to rub in by hand. Remembering not to get too much, otherwise you get build up and streaks. Currently running at about 900 RPM. You can see the finish coming up there beautifully. That is not at all a bad finish for just one coat of Hampshire Sheen High Gloss. I think that's a good enough finish, but it will get a final buff up when the inside of the bowl has been excavated. Okay then, we've done just about as much as we can to the uh, outside of the bowl. Uh, what we need to do now is to get it turned around on the lathe, get it excavated and get the interior brought up to the same standard as the exterior of the bowl. Okay, now a problem has developed here. 
this feature a void or what I don't know what it is is going to cause me some problems I believe um, and also on the other side there's a couple of interesting cracks anyway I'm gonna persevere for the time being and just see what happens Okay, uh, I think now is the time to address these cracks and this uh, feature in the side of the bowl here. And I think that needs to be done to uh, really minimise the opportunity of the chance of a blow up. So I'm here just using some off the shelf Vita Bond. I'm going to put it anywhere where. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave that now for about 15 minutes to cure, then I'll carry on. that's as much as I can do with the tools uh, finishing off there with my big fat scraper um, there's a little bit of tear out left to deal with but I'm gonna to have to do that uh, through sanding down from uh, about 120 to coat of Hampshire Sheen high gloss using the hot air gun method is more than sufficient for that. I'm very happy with that. Now before I finish off, probably outside is a nice day, I'm going to give a shameless plug to my friend Alan Maggs who started a new business called Native Wood Turning Blanks. You'll find him on Facebook where he's advertising his uh, products, which are all, of course, uh, the beautiful range of native woods that we have available here in the UK. So if you're looking for good native woods from a small business, then please go and visit uh, Alan's shop on Facebook and I'll leave the details down below. Okay, so there we have it, a nice bowl in English oak. I'm very happy with the outcome. It's a very simple task, I understand, but it's basically to help me get back into the, back into the groove again. Anyway, uh, COVID-19 pandemic's been difficult for everybody. 2020 hasn't been a good year uh, at all, I don't think, uh, and let's hope it doesn't get any worse. <laughs>